Yo, what is going on YouTube? This is boy Dan, aka E-Drive, bringing you a Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Let's play. Let's get this started right here, right now. This is going to be a Nuzlocke run. If you don't know what the Nuzlocke rules are, I'm going to run through them really quickly. Basically, the rules I'll be playing with. First off, we got the Shiny Claws on. If at any point I find a Shiny Pokemon, we are going to rock with it. Um, if at any point in time my Pokemon faints, I'm going to release the Pokemon. I think I'm actually going to release them too. I'm not going to just put them in a box. We're going to release them. It's going to be hardcore. All right. Uh, I'll be doing regular Pokemon Center runs, regular potion usage, etc. No, you reviving. None of that stuff. And the big key part is every time you go to a new route, you catch the first Pokemon you find. If for some reason you aren't able to catch that Pokemon, then guess what? You're out of luck. No Pokemon for that route. Without further ado, let's hit that begin game button and let's get it popping. So I am super, super excited to bring you this, guys. This Alpha Sapphire let's play oh my god so this game looks absolutely amazing beautiful I'm looking down this hole right now I see this little raindrop and it's about to fall into the pond that is absolutely beautiful and we're gonna get it popping let me remove these badges here because we have a long way to go on this journey I hope you guys are ready to join me on this beautiful Alpha Sapphire Nuzlocke my girl Ladius flying around the entire world all over the place all over the map I'm chilling on my bike, or Brennan's chilling on his bike. I'm going to be the male character. I'm not going to be a female character. We're going to do just a male character, and uh, I'm going to be a drive. So that's how we roll. So I'm super excited. I'm so pumped. Um, Mega Sharpedo, Mega Camerupt, Kyogre. You got Blaziken, Swampert, Sceptile. So many Beast Mode people. Steven Stone, what is good? And uh, you got the uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Primal. Evolutions. This is going to be an amazing, amazing Let's Play. So, before we hit that start button, I want you guys to take a note. We have the question of the day right below here. What is your favorite starting Pokemon from Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire? I want you guys to leave a comment in the YouTube video saying whether it's Trico, Team Mudkip, or Torchic. I want to hear what you guys have to say, so make sure you leave that comment. And also, 100 likes, and I will get you the next episode tomorrow. So, I think that's pretty fair. And uh, if you guys haven't checked out my Twitter yet, definitely do that. I'm mostly known as being a live streamer on Twitch. This is going to be my first Let's Play on YouTube, and I'm very excited to bring you that. Uh, kind of aside from my shiny hunting videos, aside from all that other stuff. So, let's get it going. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. And this is what I call a Pokemon. A Zoomerail. Hey, I love this intro so much, guys. I love it so much. Like, the fact that you have your Game Boy chilling out, you're in the back of a van, which is creepy as heck. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon at all, at times playing together as friends and at times helping one another out. There's Selenron and an Aeron chilling in the grass over there, like right outside of my town. Why can't I catch that? And we got the happiest Pokemon around, a Shroomish, some Poochianas howling. And randomly, the banana sword chilling <laughs> outside of my town, evidently. Um, and there's some shaking grass. I don't know if that's just like kind of uh, trying to symbolize the whole sneaky method. Got a little Talo. I I don't know if you guys know, but this is my favorite game, man. Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald were my favorite games as a kid. I've been playing this Pokemon since I was seven years old, playing Red and Blue version. Um, so <laughs> this game is awesome. It's just super hyped. Uh, I am definitely a boy. If you haven't known, can't tell. And I'm gonna give you my name. My name is indeed it is a drive. So let's pop that into into this little thing here. A drive. Oh boy, this is the one thing you don't want to mess up. A drive. There we go. So one of the things about the Nuzlocke run is you always make sure your nickname and your Pokemon. So we're gonna be doing that as well. And uh, I'm gonna do my best to refer to them by their nicknames the entire way. Ah, I see. You're that a drive. You're the one who's moving to Little Root Town where I live. Darn Skippy, bro. Look at that, my deck snap just fired up. I got my little map going on. I got my Azuril doll, Azuril doll, however you want to say it. Your very own adventure is now about to unfold. Be courageous and leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventures, and friendships await. I expect we'll be meeting again soon. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. Woo! So pumped up right now. If you guys haven't yet, make sure you're mashing that like button for me. 100 likes, I will get second episode coming tomorrow. I just love this scene. It's so beautiful. Like, if you guys remember the old games, the original games, if you've ever played them, you started off in a truck. And I still don't understand why you start in a truck. Because, like, I think that's kind of illegal. I don't think you're allowed 
to be in the back of a moving band van, but that step right there was the first step into the Pokemon world. And I wish, truthfully, I love life now as in America, in, in America world, and the world we live in now, the Earth. But uh, I think Pokemon's way cooler, man. I would totally dig it if we could be in Pokemon world. But I guess I'm dreaming. I'm sure every one of you guys watching this video has thought that at some point. E-Drive, you're here at last. Wasn't it tough riding in the back of that bumpy moving truck all that way? Well, this is Little Root Town. What do you think? This is going to be our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it looks like it should be a nice place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room this time, eh, Drive? Come on, you have to see the inside. <laughs> I don't know if I was living and my room was with my mom or what was going on. That was a little weird. But uh, she at least acknowledged the fact that, that that moving truck was probably not legit. See, eh, Drive, isn't it nice in here, too? The moving company's Pokemon even help with the unpacking and cleanup. They really made moving a cinch. All right. Growl, growl, growl. <laughs> Thanks for all the hard work. We really appreciate it. Gua, gua, gua. Yo, these dudes are monstrous. If I just had a Pokeball, I'd catch this bad boy right now. Isn't that kind of slavery, though? Uh, you should go and see your new room upstairs, eh, Drive? Dad even bought a new clock for it to celebrate the big move. You'll need to set that up the time, though. I think my time's actually not right, but it's all good. So, I'm just loving this. There's another Azuril doll. I don't know if that's the Azuril doll from the moving van. What's this? Is this like a plant? It doesn't let me talk to it. Okay. Doesn't let me talk to that either. Well, that's cool. So, let me uh, let me just update my settings really quick. I want to make sure I put tech speed on fast. We're going to keep the battle effects on. I'm actually going to switch to set style. So, what that means is um, when the other trainer is like uh, saying, okay, the opponent's about to send out X Pokemon, I'm not going to be able to switch. So, that's like a, a thing that happens in competitive. And I'm going to switch to uh, L equals A button style. Let me just edit uh, really one thing really quick. My bottom screen is a little bit a little bit big. I don't know how that happened, but I think we'll be we'll be doing all right if I just update it here ever so slightly. So you guys can see my bottom screen a little bit better. That should work a little bit better. All right. And I think we're ready to rock. My top screen's too big, too. Why is that? I don't know what happened. I guess that's a little better, right? Okay. Cool, so you should see everything I see now. We're good to go, ready to rock, ready to roll, ready to get some Pokemon, ready to enter the world and uh, and do it up. So let's, let's make everything look nice and pretty here. I think we're good, cool. So uh, I think I have to talk to the clock. The clock on the wall isn't moving. You've got to set the time. So I don't actually have to set the time. It kind of does it automatically, which I think again, my 3DS is off the right time because I didn't change daylight savings time, but it's going to say it's 1922. That's, that's usually when I start playing video games, so. How do you like your new roommate, Drive? Good, everything's put away neatly. They finished moving everything in downstairs, too. It's really nice to have Pokemon around us to help. Oh, but you should make sure everything's all right on your desk there. All right, what do we got here? All right, well, that doesn't help me. Give me like a, I don't know, a Master Ball or something. Can I sleep? Nope. Got my Wii U. I got my Wii U behind me, too. I don't know oh, this side. I don't know if you can see it. But I got my Wii U behind me, too, in real life. A-Drive! A-Drive! Come quickly! What? Oh. It's the Petalburg Gym! Maybe Dad will be on TV! Interviewer. We brought you this report live in front of the Petalburg Gym. Next up, a special look at a long-awaited meteor shower in the next star show. Oh, it's already ended. Looks like your dad was on, but we missed his part. What a shame. But that reminds me, one of Dad's friends lives in this town. Professor Birch is his name. He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. Hey, let's go. I'm on the road to Viridian City. Yeah. All right, we're going next door. Actually, let me let me walk down here. Oh, it's not there. That's weird. So I don't know if you know, but when you beat the game, I guess there's a supposed to be a Mew tonight. Like the Mega Stone is supposed to be in this town, but oh well. I guess it's not there until later on in the game. Lay off of me, lady. Oh, hello. And you are? Oh, you're A-Drive, our new next-door neighbor. Welcome. We have a daughter about the same age as you. She has been so excited about making a new friend. She should be in her room upstairs. I hope you'll go and introduce yourself. Alrighty. Let's get it. Hey! If she wasn't 12... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Ah, uh, you know you had that thought already. Nah, I'm kidding. 
This is awkward. This let's play just got real awkward already. Pokemon fully restored, items all ready, and... Huh? Huh? I did it too early. Who are you? Oh, you must be A-Drive. Your move was today, huh? Well, I'm May. Glad to meet you. I... I actually have this dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. And then my, when Dad, I mean Professor Birch, told me you were moving here, A-Drive, well, I was hoping you would be nice and we could be friends. But, but that's just silly, isn't it? I've just met you, right, A-Drive? So, what am I talking about? <laughs> uh, oh no, I forgot! I was supposed to going out and help Dad catch some wild Pokemon! A-Drive, I'll see you later! That takes me back to like red and blue when she's like, I'll smell you later. Chilling in this girl's room. Can I sit on this couch? Nope. What she got on TV? Anything? Nope. This will be the next test. Each Pokemon can learn up to four moves. Which moves will you teach Pokemon? Show how good of a trainer you are. All the beast moves. I actually am going to do a pacifist playthrough where I don't do any attacking moves. I don't know if that's ever been done. That's actually a really interesting thought. I might... I might try that. Not this time, but maybe one day I will be the path pacifist playthrough person where I use moves like toxic and poison. I don't even know what you could use. You just growl until they struggle. The moment everyone has been waiting for. The moment when I pick my starter. Hello! You over there! Please! Help me out! In my bag, there are some Pokeballs! <laughs> I sound like I should be in the anime. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is where a lot of you decide to not watch the Let's Play anymore because I picked the Pokemon you don't want me to pick. But I did ask the chat on my Twitch stream. We had like 800 people watching, and I asked in a poll which Pokemon I should pick because I wanted it to be pretty, uh, pretty up to you guys. So the one I am choosing is Mr. Mudkip. Look how cute it is. How could I not choose Mudkip? So I'm a Trico guy myself. In all honesty, I'm Team Trico. But for this playthrough, we are doing Mr. Mudkip, and it's not shiny, so we're not going to have the crazy shiny hype, but uh, we should be able to knock out this Poochiana pretty easily. I'm not going to soft reset or anything like that. Everything we're doing on this playthrough is 100% live. If for some reason I lose the Nuzlocke in like 10 minutes, then it's over, and I'm just going to upload it, and that's how it is. I'm not going to like save over the game and pretend like something didn't happen when it happened. It's all going to be legit, guys. If the Nuzlocke ends in three episodes and it ends in three episodes, if it goes 100 episodes, then it's going 100 episodes. But the plan is to go all the way through the Delta episode, so that's kind of the plan. I'm a little bit bugged out on my top screen here. Hold on. Let me fix this a little bit. I don't know why my screens were so, so big. All right, it should be way better now, so. Whew. I went into the tall grass to survey wild Pokemon when I was suddenly jumped. You saved my hide. Thanks a lot. <laughs> oh, but you're Norman's boy, A-Drive. I didn't even realize who you were at first. You've grown quite a bit. You've, uh, you've grown into quite the young man. This isn't the place for a chat though. Come along to my lab. Let's go. What if I just didn't follow him? Like, what was he gonna do? Like, what if I just wanted to go out into the world of Pokemon right now? What if I didn't want to wait? I'm impatient. I'm a little bit impatient. A little bit insecure. So, A-Drive. I've heard so much about you from your father. But he said that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. If that's true, that was quite the performance back there. Looks like you really are your father's son. Oh, yes. To say thanks for rescuing me out there, how about I give you that Pokemon you used earlier? A drive received Mudkip! Alrighty, let's get it going. We got our Mudkip chilling in our team down below. Let's make him a little bit bigger so he could just kind of hang out down there with his little fin sticking outside of the box. While you're at it, why not give a nickname to that Mudkip? So we did get a male nickname, and in spirit of the fact that Mr. Mudkip gets to be nice and bulky when he becomes a swole pert if he makes it that far, I decided to name this Mudkip Mr. Dom Mazzetti. So we're gonna name it after Dom Mazzetti. I don't know if you guys know who Dom Mazzetti is, but he is a YouTube star and I'm a big fan of Dom. So we're gonna name Mudkip Dom and I'm gonna talk about him like this the whole time. He's gonna be Dom the whole time. I hope you guys are ready for the Dom because Dom is gonna do some damage. He's gonna be Dom Mazzetti. He's gotta be Dom. That's the only way to do it. I don't know, you guys probably think I'm crazy, but I think it's a cool name. So we're going with Dom. That's it. You know. If you work with your Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make a pretty excellent trainer. 
My girl May happens to be out on Route 103 right now surveying Pokemon for me. It might not be a bad idea for you to head out that way yourself. What do you think? Sure. Great! I'm sure May will be happy to hear that too. She can teach you what it means to be a trainer. Oh yes. And if you're ever lost along the way, use the area nav on your Pokedex, Pokenav Plus. You can use it to see how to get to Route 103, where May ought to be. And if you or your Pokemon get tired, get rest back up at your house. Alrighty, man. That's what I'm talking about. Let's take a look at our homie Dom and see what kind of stats we got. See what we're twerking with here. So, Mr. Dom is minus attack plus defense. That is borderline absolutely dreadful. But we're going to roll with it anyway because I said I'm not going to soft reset. So, we got bold. I guess it's not terrible, but it's pretty bad actually because Swampert has a monstrous attack when it mega evolves. And it kind of gets depleted a little bit by running that. But uh, it could have been worse. So, at least uh, on a Nuzlocke run, I guess having plus defense might not be the worst thing in the world. So, let us make our way uptown. Making our way downtown, faces past, faces past, and I'm homebound. Ba -da 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 and we see ourselves a Wurmple. I'm not going to count this as our first encounter on this route because I don't have Pokeballs yet. So once I get Pokeballs, I'll be happily uh, catching Pokemon. Actually, in this route, I'm not actually going to count either because we got the Mudkip on this route. Or does did we get Mudkip in Little Root? Either way, I'll look at it and see where it counts him as being. But I believe we'll be able to catch the first Pokemon on this route, actually. So... The thing with Nuzlocke runs in any type of playthrough, like you stick with the rules as close as you can, and I do plan on sticking to the rules like pretty much 100%, but uh, just keep in mind that sometimes you kind of have to like make judgment calls and say, all right, like that's going to count as a new route, this is not going to count as a new route, you know what I mean? So just keep that in mind, and if uh, if you guys think I did something super, super wrong, you're more than welcome to tell me in the chat, but or in the uh, in the comments section on YouTube, I keep saying chat, I'm such a Twitch streamer. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that's that's how we're going to do it. So let's go talk to this little kid here and maybe get one more encounter. And then uh, we'll be hitting it, headed into uh, whatever town this is. I don't know what town's up next, to be perfectly honest. I think it's it's not Little Root Town. But there's a Zigzagoon. And we'll just hit this thing with a few water guns here and knock it out. So one of the cool things I like about this game is one for Nuzlocke runs anyway. One, there's quite a bit of routes at the beginning of the game. They give you some opportunities to, uh, to get all sorts of potions and whatever else. Um, and, and different Pokemon like there's a lot of different routes to get uh, you know lots of Pokemon for a Nuzlocke run and there's some pretty cool Pokemon at the beginning of this game so that's really that's really neat Wow, Pokemon will jump out at you when you're walking in the tall grass so dive right in when you're trying to catch that find that Pokemon you want to catch alrighty so here are we at Old Dale Town Old Dale Town there we go hi there I work at the Pokemart from what I can see, you're a novice trainer, am I right? Okay, being super kind-hearted as I am, I'm gonna give you a useful advice. Whoop! First of all, that blue, that's a blue, the <laughs> That's a Pokemart there. Just look for our blue roof. We sell a variety of goods, including Pokeballs, for catching Pokemon. I'd like you to have these as part of a special promotion. And he gives me potions, he doesn't give me Pokeballs. But the potions are actually gonna be quite useful because this is a Nuzlocke run, so I will be using my potions, I'm be using my berries, I'm gonna be rocking it. You know, I'm not gonna like overly obsess over buying potions and stuff. Uh, I don't wanna do that. I think I actually may, might make the rule where I only use potions I find on the ground and through pickup. That would be very interesting. You guys can let me know in the chat if I should do that, whether I should only use items I find on the road and through pickup, or whether I should be allowed to buy items like potions and stuff. I don't know, I never really thought too much into that, but that'd be kind of an interesting twist to kind of complicate things a little bit more. Um, and you can also give me your thoughts as well on whether I should be using the experience share or not, because that's kind of another element that makes things a wee bit interesting. But at this point in time, guys, we are going to call this as our first episode, nice and short. You guys can also let me know, so many things to let me know. But uh, what you guys think is a good length for these, I was thinking about the 20-30 minute mark for each episode. Again, this is my first Let's Play, so feel free to let me know what you're thinking, what you guys want to hear, what you guys want to see. I'm more than willing to uh, to do it for you and make this the most excellent, amazing, awesomest Let's Play you've ever done, seen. So, I'll be, I'm not going to be jumping ahead on the recording, so I'll wait till I see all your comments and stuff like that, at least for the, the next you know 24 hours before I get the next part up. But uh, let's get this to 100 likes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Feel free to hit me up on Twitter. I try to read all my messages and answer there. And obviously I get to my comments on the YouTube section. This has been your boy A-Drive. You guys are absolutely fantastic. I hope you enjoyed this first episode of our Let's Play Alpha Sapphire Nuzlocke Run. I will catch you guys later.
Peace.